The first time Dean Parter saw Hassan, he was in awe. He, he came as anonymous. He came as anonymous and surprised everybody. He won second place. And I admired him for his uh, passion for dancing. And I decided people must see him, people must recognize Hassan because he deserves it. And I decided to try and help him and we decided to dance together. Ever since meeting at a dance competition three months ago, the two have been performing together in a popping dance duo. Pop is tensing your muscles and then relaxing them. Uh, that action creates an illusion of a pop. Okay? It's like pop, 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 pop. Okay? There's also styles Wave. such as waving. Yeah. Isolations. <laughs> yeah. Okay? There are many styles in popping, but the, the most important one is the pop. Okay? 19-year-old Dean from Carmiel and 22-year-old Hassan from Jerusalem have been dancing for over three years and they hope to soon start competing in international competitions. First time I saw it, I thought it was the most amazing thing I ever saw and I decided I really want to do this. I practiced hours after hours after hours every day until I got the basics and uh, started to uh, make, it my, make it professional. On Wednesday night, performing in a showcase at the National Breakdancing Competition in Modian, Deed and Hassan were introduced as Israeli and Arab respectively, but for them, dancing is all but political. Here, you're a dancer, you're an artist. We all dance together to bring, to bring people together, to work harder and better together, to create bigger things. Yet the reality of the region insists on imposing. 19-year-old Dean Partish will be drafted into the army at the end of the month, which makes it harder for the duo to find time to practice together. Hassan says he is ready to wait for Dean to finish with the army, to eventually fulfill their goal to become world-renowned dancing stars. I don't know about this, but now I'm going to say in the name of God. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post.